Hello everyone and welcome to another Basics with Ben tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to use the scene panel navigation to adjust our scene objects from a 3D viewpoint. Now the scene panel is a great way to easily move, scale, and rotate your objects in a much more intuitive way so that you don't have to edit everything by changing the individual values. So let's get started by adding a 3D object to our scene. Alright, so in the objects panel click add new box. So if we go to the top of the scene panel and click the move tool or click W on our keyboard, you'll see that we can now click and drag the box and move it further away from the camera. We can also rotate the box by clicking the rotate tool or pressing E on our keyboard. If we want to only rotate on a certain axis, we can click on one of the colored lines and drag. You'll see the box's transform properties changing in real time as we adjust it. If we wanted to fine tune these values, we can do that in the inspector panel. We can adjust the size of the box by clicking the scale tool or pressing R on the keyboard. Again, we can choose to only scale the box on a certain axis, or if we click and drag at the center, it'll adjust the size on all the axes equally. If we want to combine the move, scale, and rotate tools into one, we can use the unify tool or press Y on the keyboard. You'll see that we can now do all three adjustments in a single tool. And as we're adjusting the objects in the scene panel, we may want to adjust our viewpoint to get a better 3D view. So we can do this a few ways. The first way would be with our mouse. If we use the scroll wheel, we can zoom in and out of the 3D space. If we right click and drag, we can rotate the scene view. We can also click and drag the 3D box with the snap ghost icon on the top right and rotate the scene view. If we wanted to reset the scene view to default, we can click the home icon on the top right as well. We can also use the pan tool, which is the hand icon on the top left, and that'll help us move around the scene view by left click and dragging. You can also pan your scene by clicking and holding your scroll wheel button and dragging your mouse. On the top, you'll see that we can also switch between the 2D and the 3D scene. This is useful if we're working with both 2D images and 3D objects. There's also some information displayed about whatever 3D objects we have in the scene, such as the number of triangles, blend shapes, and joints. This is really useful if we're trying to optimize our lens and figure out which objects are using more resources. Now that you know how to use the scene panel, you can easily modify your 3D objects from a 3D viewpoint and more quickly place your objects in your scene just by using your mouse. If you enjoyed that video or even learned something new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to learn more about Lens Studio, go check out their channel for even more tutorials.